What's up everybody, welcome back to The Now Pursuit. In this video, we will share the 16 essential items that we have traveled with that totally make our life easier and four bonus items just because if you can get it, it just makes life more fun. So I hope it helps, I hope you enjoy and let's get right to it. Okay, the first essential item is a collapsible crate. We have two collapsible crates, so they open like that. And we use this one every move. We have all of our um, shower items in there. We put it in here so it doesn't slide around. Um, and we use it for maybe like extra stuff maybe we bought. We don't know where to put it yet. We have two of these and they work wonder. And they're easy to store. Number two is a collapsible ladder. If your rig doesn't come with a ladder, this will be the one to get because it can go to up to 12 feet. So this is definitely something you should get. For our next essential item, we feel like the Anderson hitch is definitely one of those that you absolutely need for all of your rigs that you wanna pull fifth wheel wise. So it has 20,000 pounds that you can actually pull on your truck if your truck can pull that much. And it's something that can pull pretty much anything. It has a 90 degree turn radius that you can pretty much get and turn and park into any spot or any corner. And it's a lot easier than the original hitch that we had on our, on our old RV. So it's definitely an essential item. One of the next essential items is the cabinet lights. They are so essential because, well, maybe it's more for parents, but my kids are sleeping and I'm trying to get ready. Um, having the lights, the cabinet lights turn on while I'm trying to look for maybe a sweater, I wanna go outside, do, do a bonfire with my husband, or you know, whatever. We've even had times where like, we're uh, dry camping somewhere and maybe we're conserving the lights inside the RV because we don't have, you know, electric like hookup. Um, so we're doing lanterns instead of using our lights just to conserve electricity for overnight. The cabinet lights come in handy because they're already charged. And when you open the cabinet, as this, the light turns on. And so I can get ready without needing to use the lights and turn them on. I'd rather conserve energy. As well as in the pantry because they're so deep, um, definitely having the lights in there helps a whole bunch because you could see what food you have and you won't forget and you won't have food go to waste. So definitely an essential item. The 100 foot hose is definitely another essential item that we feel like is really making our lives a lot easier. For instance, we just came from a Harvest Host member site and our we didn't have any water we didn't fill up any water we don't like to travel with extra weight on our rig and the only source of water that we had was coming from the harvest hosts home 100 foot hose no brainer it was so easy just to hook it up to our rig to their house and we just filled up water just not too much not even a quarter it was just just enough so that we can use the essentials, you know, wash dishes, restroom, hands, wash hands. And for that one night, the 100 foot hose definitely made it a big difference. Another essential item that we think would definitely help if you have guests over are the foldable bar stools. We got ours only about 10 to $12 per bar stool at Target. Um, and we have four of them and they easily slip behind our couches. When we have guests over, we have four extra seats that are super easy to store and pull out. And then on other cases too, we're a family of six. So the kids sit at the dining room table, there's four of them, and then Angel and I can sit up here, like so, at the counter and eat. Right now, Angel does have his barber chair in here, so he can utilize that, and I can utilize a bar stool. So, when we have guests over, it helps, and as a family of six, it helps as well. Um, but it all de you know, depends on like your layout of the RV and stuff, and if you already have extra seating. For us, we've had it since we've had this RV, as well as our um, Jayco RV, and both times we did use the bar stools quite often. So the biggest essential or the most priciest essential that we had was the Honda generator, but it was well needed. And it's something that we absolutely got our money's worth from day one of getting it. For the price of it, 
it was the the bigger honda the quieter one and it was the honda 3000 so it was able to power all of our essentials inside the rig all of our air conditioners all of our electronics that we needed to charge our tv refrigerator our microwave our lights all the lights we we're able to put on also with that because it's not the biggest but it is it's everything that we need to power all of our essentials inside now tools are definitely something that you should stack up on because of how many things uh, could happen and how many things already have happened for us for instance the truck needed to be repaired we had a water line that came out luckily i had the the right tools to take care of that we had some side panels that were coming loose some screws came loose there's also some upgrades that we had for the rv as well and luckily i had the tools for that too and my toolbox it's it's not the most experienced toolbox it doesn't have all the bells and whistles but it has the essentials of cutting the wires of uh, fuses it has the pliers it has the screwdrivers it has the socket wrenches it has the i don't need to name off all of the tools just little tools to make your life a little bit easier and also to have the longest lifespan of your rig so you want to just be prepared for those out of the ordinary things another item i would consider essential is a step stool. You can easily find a step stool like Walmart. We have not not needed the step stool. In this RV as well as our old one, the cabinets they put so high sometimes. I mean unless you're going to renovate it in a way that creates the ability to go up high or maybe you won't have high shelves. From our experience RVs come with such high shelves that you're going to need a step stool. So we've definitely used it many 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 times and so have our kids especially if you have little ones it helps to have a step stool. So we didn't think it would, but it comes in handy. Definitely an essential item I would get. So these little plastic yellow stackers down here are definitely another essential tool because, well, not really a tool, but it is an item that I feel is necessary because when we're on dirt and it starts to rain, which can be at any time, it is a big help because you won't be sinking into the ground and you won't be unleveled with your rest of the rest of your rig so this comes in a big stack of like nine or ten of them and it's not like a huge stack but it, it's pretty compact and they do a really good job we had got ours from a camping world so definitely feel like this is another essential that everyone should get just to let everybody know i don't know what these are called so these locks on the tires i feel like are another essential for the simple fact of not being able to move every time you're getting up, move every time the kids are running or somebody gets up, it's not rocking the whole RV. So these keep the RV in place and not having these tires rock back and forth. Another essential. Another essential item that is kind of silly, not something you would think of right off the bat, is a fly swatter. Whack, 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 whack. <laughs> We've used this fly swatter more than we would have liked but you never know what bugs are going to be coming your way per state. Um, we have had swarms of flies in one state, whole bunch of mosquitoes in another state, in some states where we're like, there are no bugs, but then we find spiders. So this has come in handy so much. We've actually traveled from one state to another only to find that some of the flies came with us in the RV um, and we had to just, you know, kill them as we went. So definitely something I would get um and I, I we used to have the one that's like electric and you could put a battery in but we found the one that like is very flexible like this one this one has helped the most out of the other we used to have the other one we never even used it this one easy to grab easy to just get them definitely um an essential item for sure for sure and absolutely the barbecue grill is an essential it is definitely something that you should have that makes you feel at home anywhere in the world we've been on the side of walmart we've been at other people's homes we pop out this grill we put some patties on there we definitely feel like we're at home in our own space in other people's spaces so the barbecue grill is definitely something that you should take with you 
I feel like it's essential. Some people call it a bonus, but I think it's essential. Now with our mat that we have outside is for sure an essential for all of us. For me, Genesis, the kids, well for mainly me because I don't have tough feet like these kids. So I'm walking outside and I step on a rock, a twig, a piece of grass that's just a little bit sharp. I'm uncomfortable. So I gotta get this mat and I'm able to come outside without my shoes, which I don't do often, but every once in a while you gotta let them breathe, right? So I come outside with the mat, barefoot, and it's nice, it's good. It feels good being outdoors. You don't wanna be like you're in the city all the time where you have to wear shoes and you can't walk around on concrete outside. So you gotta take advantage at the moment. Another item we find to be pretty essential is a napkin holder that you can attach to the wall. Um, or I guess you can Velcro, Velcro it or like, you know, command strip it onto the counter. But we found this really cool uh, napkin holder or paper towel holder that we just stuck right up here. We have never loved it more, I guess. Um, we used to have our paper towel roll kind of just like randomly. We would grab it, move. But once we've had it here, we've just used it obviously every day and it's just worked like perfectly for us. And uh, another essential item that can relate is the toilet paper holder. Such an odd angle, but we do have a toilet paper holder. Same thing, you can easily put it anywhere. We put it here hidden beneath the sink because it just became really annoying. Having the, um, you know, the stand, we used to have a stand and did not fit pretty be beside the toilet. It was always in the way, we were always moving it um, when we were doing our business. And so when we found this one on Amazon, we were like, well, let's find a place to put it that will be out of the way, but easy access. And that helped so much. So hanging, sticking on the wall, toilet paper holder, definitely an essential. As you can see, our wagon is an essential because we have it pretty much in every video. And for when we're by the lake, we love to put all of our essentials that we need. Uh, our life vets, our towels, the kids, we put the goggles. Uh, sometimes we can even put the paddle board on there if you put it on right. So it could definitely be used for different purposes. It could definitely be used for different things and we honestly use it all the time. So it's definitely essential. I feel like everyone should have even if you don't have kids. Having these chairs makes it a big difference when you're outdoors or you know, pretty much anywhere. Having your own chair is definitely an essential just for your own comfort and possibly for the comfort of others definitely get a chair that you like i like uh, a bigger chair i like a chair that's uh, more wider with a smaller table on the side just me genesis she likes that she can put both legs crossed on her chair so she likes a bigger chair that's just her and you know the kids are really not too picky they just want a chair that has a color that they like and they're happy I'm happy with it but definitely have a chair that you feel is uh, comfortable to you because it is essential and you'll know why and another thing I forgot to mention is the table the table is definitely something that you should look into and that you should have for a couple reasons it's good it's handy it come it comes in it's a handy tool to have. It's something that you should definitely keep around and make room for it in your storage. Uh, for us, we like to put our barbecue grill on it because it has a metal grate area that it's not gonna burn and when it gets hot, it's just not gonna ruin it. So it's good, you know, we like it. Okay, so those are the essential items that we could think of that would really benefit you on your journey in living in an RV or traveling in an RV. Um, but we have a couple bonus items that the first one being essential and a bonus depending on your flavor of life but that's the first one and then we have three to end off our video today another essential item we think is pretty essential are extra blankets we definitely have used our blankets whether it's for our family sitting here in our family room watching a movie going out as bonfire, using it for a bonfire, or having guests over, they've also utilized our extra blankets. We got them as we traveled. So these ones were simply from Walmart. We were gifted these as we left, five bucks. 
super easy. And we love these types of blankets here. We have about three of them and they're about $14. We got one in Utah, we got one in Arizona. Pretty easy to find in either like the larger truck stops or like souvenir shops along the road. Um, we got these and they're super warm, super comfortable. We've used these many, many of times. Pretty essential for us. And that way you can just keep whatever you have in your bedroom in your bedroom. And these are just like really extra comfy blankets for spares. I would say that's pretty essential, but we're marking it as also a bonus item. So the next bonus item would be either bikes, scooters, skateboards, some kind of alternate form of transportation when you are maybe hanging out somewhere or, you know, just being able to explore a little differently. Um, we have skateboards and scooters. We keep our scooters in a of outdoor type of bin that we put, um, in our outdoor storage here and then we also do have skateboards um we do want to get bikes and eventually want to try and put a rack on top of our cab of our truck right there um but that's for future stuff we do have bikes in california and we just have we didn't know how to bring them along we kind of did when we were traveling around in california putting them inside and outside of our rv but we really wanna be able to find a way to hook them on. But that's definitely a bonus item to make your exploring the different areas that you travel in a little bit more fun. I do wanna end the video with our last bonus item, which is a paddle board. If you have any type of aquatic toy, that is definitely a bonus item. We got two paddle boards while staying in Montana the first time, and we've absolutely loved the ability to go on the lake without needing to rent one, without needing to borrow one from a friend, whether it's a paddleboard, a kayak, um, whatever fits, whatever floats your boat, definitely a great bonus item. So yes, I hope that this video helped in any way. We definitely wanna be of service to those of you who are interested or looking for or researching or maybe even already living this type of lifestyle because it's definitely something you learn as you go. So just know you're not alone in not exactly knowing every little detail about what to do, what to bring, where to go. We are learning just as much as you are. And so anytime we have something to share, definitely wanna be able to share it with you, our community here online. And we thank you so much for joining with us and being with us on even these informational videos. So now I'm gonna go enjoy the paddle boards and the lake with my family. And I hope you have a beautifully blessed day. We'll see you at our next video.